an absolute value inequality is an inequality which contains one or more absolute values. How does absolute value works for inequalities? For absolute value of x strictly less than 5, we have a positive case when x is less than 5 and a negative case, negative x less than 5. When we divide both sides by a negative 1, we switch the inequality and we get x greater than negative 5, which means negative 5 is less than x. Since we have both of them, the case become a compound inequality, a conjunction. Negative 5 is less than x, which is less than 5. This is how it looks like on the number line. Empty circle at 5, empty circle at negative 5, and we take all the values in between. If the absolute value of x is greater than 5, we have a positive case in which x is greater than 5, strictly greater, and then we have a negative case in which negative x is greater than 5. We're going to divide both sides by negative 1 and switch the inequality, reverse the inequality symbol, and x is less than negative 5. Therefore, we have x greater than 5 or x is less than negative 5. On the number line, we will graph x greater than 5, 5 is not included, and then x less than 5, 5 is not included. A quick way to remember what you need to do when solving absolute value inequalities, you need to know that less is a ness, so if the absolute value of a is less than b, a is between negative b and b, and more is or, if the absolute value of a is greater than b, then a is either greater than b or a less than negative b. Feel free to pause the tape and look at the complete table of the properties of absolute value inequalities. Less is an S, so we're going to solve the absolute value of x is less than 2. It means that x is between negative 2 and 2, strictly. Less is an S. We're going to solve the absolute value of x is less than or equal to 7. And our answer is negative 7 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 7. More is or. The absolute value of x is greater than 5. It means that x is greater than 5 or x is less than negative 5. More is or, the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to 10. It means that x is greater than or equal to 10 or x is less than or equal to negative 10. The absolute value of 2x minus 1 is strictly less than 7. It means that 2x minus 1 is strictly between negative 7 and 7. We add 1 to all three sides. Negative 6 less than 2x less than 8, 7 plus 1. We divide all three sides by 2. And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Less than x less than 
the absolute value of 8 minus 3y is greater than or equal to 14. It means that 8 minus 3y is greater than or equal to 14 or 8 minus 3y is less than or equal to negative 14. When we subtract 8 from both sides, we get negative 3y greater than or equal to 14 minus 8, which is 6. Now we're going to divide by negative 3, reverse the inequality, and we get 3y less than or equal to negative 2, 6 divided by negative 3. In the second case, we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. We obtain negative 3y less than or equal to negative 22. Then we have to divide by negative 3, which means that we have to reverse the inequality. It becomes greater than or equal to negative 22 divided by negative 3. Therefore, y is greater or equal to positive 22 over 3. The solution set is y less than or equal to negative 2 or y greater than or equal to 22 over 3. The absolute value of 5x plus 2 minus 3 is less than or equal to 9. The absolute value of 5x plus 2 is less than or equal to 9 plus 3, which is 12. Less is a ness. It means that 5x plus 2 is largely between 12 and negative 12. We're going to subtract 2 from all three sides. We obtain negative 14 less than or equal to 5x, less than or equal to positive 10, 12 minus 2. Then we divide all three sides by 5 and negative 14 over 5 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 10 divided by 5, which is 2. For the last question, first we're going to move 9 to the, to the right side. We get the absolute value of 6y plus 1 divided by negative 3 is strictly less than negative 9. We're going to multiply both sides by negative 3. And when we do, we must reverse the inequality symbol. So it's going to be greater than, strictly greater than, negative 3 times negative 9. Negative 3 cancel we get the absolute value of 6y plus 1 greater than positive 27. Now we have two cases. The first one is the positive case, 6y plus 1 greater than 27. The second one is the negative case, 6y plus 1 strictly less than negative 27. We subtract one from both sides, we get 6y greater than 26. We divide by 6, 6y is greater than 13 over 3 when we simplify by 2. We subtract one from both sides, 6y is strictly less than negative 28. 
we divide by 6. Y is strictly less than negative 14 over, over 3 when we divide numerator and denominator by 2. The solution set is Y strictly greater than 13 over 3 or Y strictly less than negative 14 over 3.